teacher at a school in North Phoenix has been arrested for having a sexual relationship with a student. Police say a parent came forward to report the alleged crimes on campus involving a 15-year-old girl. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis joins us live at the school tonight with the latest. Lindsay. Mark and Christina, this is coming as a shock to some parents. Some say they received a notice. Others are saying they're hearing about it for the first time today. It got me as a surprise today that one of the teachers was arrested for having a sexual relationship with a 15 year old. Phoenix police were made aware of an inappropriate relationship between a student and a teacher at Arizona Conservatory for the Arts and Academics Secondary School after a parent came forward this week. Please state your name and provide your date of birth. Ernesto Moncara Cota, February 6, 1973. According to court documents, the 15-year-old told police she had a sexual relationship with 50-year-old Ernesto Moncada Coda, describing multiple occasions between September and December. The minor also told police they exchanged love letters. Two counts of sexual abuse, a class 5 felony, four counts of sexual conduct with a minor, which is a class 6 felony. On January 2nd, Ernesto was arrested at his apartment. During a search warrant, police say love letters that the student referenced were in his apartment. Ernesto admitted to having sex with the teen. The judge set bail at $100,000 cash only. If he is released, he is not allowed to have contact with any minors, including his four-year-old daughter. It, it, it causes me to pause and uh, make sure that I'm doing my due diligence as a parent to know you know, who her teachers are. Are you going to talk to the school? Do you, do you want to take your kids out of school because of this? We probably will. We probably will. Yeah, okay. if they're not protected, there's no reason for us to have our kids over here. This has made me very, very uncomfortable. We reached out to the school. They say all questions need to be directed to the police department. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.